We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. Hello everyone and welcome back to another instalment of our YouTube channel. I'm currently sitting in our barn on our wonderful sofa that you saw us assemble in the last video <coughs> and I can't stop grinning. What? Our home. Our home, sorry. <laughs> I'm sitting in our home and it's Which just, happens to be a barn. It happens to be a barn that we have converted ourselves and it's just such a wonderful space. I'm sitting here, I'm feeling really excited and today it just gets even better. And we also picked up our chair for the corner of the barn yesterday. Theo's doing an absolutely fantastic job. It's heavier than it looks. <laughs> Carrying it. It is heavier than it looks, but it's so unbelievably comfy. Just quickly take the shoes off because this is a shoes off household. <laughs> I've already prepared the corner it's going to go in. I love it. Oh, it works. So I was so worried it'd be a bit too modern for this space, but it works well. Do you want to pop the back cushion on <laughs> and demonstrate the chair? Like that. Other way. Like that. There we go. <sighs> nice. So good. You look comfy. You look like you're floating. <laughs> this is actually so hard to get a chair like this that actually looks nice but also is really comfortable because these little chairs they tend to be just like really hard or really just uncomfortable there's not enough room this is bang on and it's made by the same company where we brought our couch from so it looks like Gingy has found her place this is the first time she's actually been in here since we brought this in there and I think she's really enjoying it. Look how small she is compared to the sofa. It's hilarious. Trying to get a family portrait of her to commemorate this moment. Theo is a very good photographer, so it only feels natural that he should be doing this. And I mean, she set herself up perfectly in the center of the sofa there. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to get a really beautiful photo of her. I mean, she's beautiful anyway, it doesn't take much. When we put the sofa together the other day, we noticed that the beautiful black legs were unfortunately leaving skid marks on the floor. <laughs> so that's why at the moment we've got really unsightly cardboard there, but we did go out and get some little velvety kind of fleecy pieces <laughs> to stick to the bottom of there so that if we do need to move in the future we don't have to worry about it so Theo has been nominated for the task of getting under there and sticking them on hopefully it'll be a nice simple process I guess we're about to find out if I'm filming you're gonna have to do the lifting and the sticking alone it's alright okay I got this confident I, I like that confidence he's got the confidence is it like just a double sided sticky tape kind of sitch. I think so, yeah, it's like a little pad, a little kind of like, I don't know, fleece? It's like fleece? Felt, Not felt. Fleece? Fleece, felt. <laughs> A felt, yeah, sticky pad. So let's try and not get my finger stuff on it. Finger stuff. Yeah. We bought the right size, I reckon. Did we? Good, because we were going to get bigger than that, but oh, that's perfect. And then I guess you just put the sofa down on it and it'll just, the weight will stick it on. Nice! I'm really enjoying this new space that we have in the barn and I'm actually finding it super inspiring to sit here and see the area that we have created, which actually leads me on really nicely to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. 
I've been using Skillshare for a number of years and I really enjoy using it to expand my creativity and I jump around from a lot of different genres. They've got gardening classes, drawing classes, even life improvement classes so I really enjoy being able to try out lots of different things. When I first got my iPad I immediately jumped on Skillshare because I knew they would have the classes on there for me to be able to learn how to draw which was the main reason why I got my iPad. I really rate Skillshare and regularly send out the sign up link to family and friends to encourage them to sign up and take on classes as well. Being ad free means that you can stay in the zone while learning new skills and new premium classes are launched each week. The entire catalogue is also now available in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. I'm really happy to say that Skillshare has given the first 1,000 people in our community a one month free trial. All you need to do is click the link in our description to get started. I really hope that you enjoy Skillshare as much as I do. Gingy's been hanging around with us this morning as we're doing things. You're such a beautiful girl, look at you. Do you like the window spot? <laughs> she blends in really well, don't you? Regal queen. We've almost done them all now, we've just got a really awkward bit. The last two ones there, we're gonna have to slide it out. But I suppose it's not too bad because all the other feet are covered now, so it's just the last two. So let's, let's give it a whirl and see. I had loads of those little pads left, so I cut them in half and popped them on the bottom here as well. Because why not, you know, why not? Wow, you were lying, this chair is actually really... <laughs> I thought you were being dramatic, but it... Oh, all the cushions come off as well, which is really good to know. But. It is actually very heavy. Built um, like a tank. It is built like a tank. Just like me. You're just crying. Oh my god. There we go. That's good because it means we can wash them because when you live with two cats, especially one called Fernando, you know it's going to get dirty. <laughs> I love this chair. Look at it. And imagine when you've got a nice shelf in there, like a bookshelf with yes. all your knickknacks. And then I've got my little coffee table. And actually, speaking of coffee tables, that's made me think of upstairs. We've got a mattress, we're going to go and put it in now and see just how much room we're actually going to have on the mezzanine when the mattress is unfurled. You got them all in? All done. I guess now those things are on the floor, you can just push it into place. You should be able to slide it, yeah. Way better. Nice. Very happy with it there. Yeah, there's a hole right there. Yeah, there will be a plug there, so it's gonna have to move anyway. Go this way a bit. Yeah, it can. It can. There's probably about. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Stop. It's about an inch between it and the wall. Perfect. Happy? Happy. Feels like I'm a gladiator. <laughs> you reckon you can do it? Oh, yes! <laughs> See you oh, later. Boy. That was amazing. Ouch. <laughs> I cannot wait to build the ladder for here. It's coming soon. It's on the list of priorities for sure. Because walking up and down here every time really, really hurts the feet. These rungs are hideous. They're the most narrow, evil things and they really hurt. Need to get some nice, really nice, comfy slippers. Yes. I haven't been up here since it's been like varnished. What do you think? So nice, isn't it? So we've had a lot of questions and people telling us that we should actually have our bed area over there where B is. And the reason we're not going to do that is because we designed the whole house, basically, or the whole roof around this mezzanine platform. So what we did is we've got a steeper pitch on this side where B is for more storage, our clothes, stuff like that. And then over this side, we went for a much shallower pitch so that we'd have more room to sit up in bed and it means that we can look straight out of the Velux window and to see blue skies and trees and it's really nice. Okay. Try and not 
cut the mattress in half. <laughs> Those scissors are not as sharp as they used to be. It up. looks so flat as well. I'm excited for it to actually expand and see how much headroom we have. And that is why we haven't built the bed frame yet, because we need to see how much this expands and then we're going to have to build a really low profile bed frame. I didn't want to do it first and then it'd be too high and you're like banging your head off a rafter. Because we want our heads at this end. I don't like the idea of having my head in the middle of the room. It just feels like... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Quick! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You need to, it's upside. Is it upside down? It's upside down. Yeah. You need to undo this and get those straps out from underneath. And you need to pull them off the you? wanted to talk you through our ideas for the bedroom because we did do this a very long time ago I think when we first put the actual beams in for the mezzanine not even the floorboard so in case you've forgotten we're having our bed at this end like Theo said so we can see through the beautiful mezzanine it's really lovely positioning there and we're hoping that once this is completely Phoenix. had what did I call it mezzanine <laughs> <laughs> my mind is so distracted today this needs 72 hours before we can actually go on it because it needs to fully expand so i'm not seeing on it yet even though i'm desperate to because i want to know how much headroom we have back there we are going to be building a little bed frame for it as well which will have proper bed slats because that's important not just for your back and for comfortable sleeping but for airflow as well and then we're thinking at the end of our bed here we've got a beautiful old chest that belonged to theo's mom and then where theo's sitting basically filming this right now is where our clothing area is going to be so we've got these gorgeous old crates that are down here next to our new chair i think we bought like 20 or something of them last year and they're going to be our clothes containers and i am planning on downsizing and i know theo is as well we have a lot of random clothes that we don't wear anymore living in portugal we don't really need a lot of the stuff that we have so i think it's important to downsize moving house has got to be the perfect time to do that so that's our plan for up here minimalism also, yeah minimalism why not also a little um rug as well just to add a little bit of cozy warmth and i forgot to say with these crates that we've got that are going to be for our little cloth area i'm hoping one will fit on either side of the bed theo says he doesn't mind not having one but i feel like for symmetry we need that <laughs> So hopefully they'll fit because we've got little lamps that are gonna go on there and then just somewhere for like glasses, a drink and that kind of stuff. So it's so exciting having this all come together. It really, really is exciting. And this is the view from the mezzanine. Check it out. I love being able to see our little reading corner there and the kitchen will be going along here. Ignore that plastic, but what a beautiful view and look at the height. I just love this space. It's wonderful and I can't wait for you 72 hours I'm counting. <laughs> so it's time to tackle the wood burner and get that inside the barn. But before we do that, remember in the last video, we went to the city and we picked up this massive stone plinth. Luckily I got Ricky with me. He's gonna help me carry that inside the barn because I don't think B's up to it, are you? No, it's too heavy for me. <laughs> it's an absolute unit. Look at that, it's like one person. Oh. Right, you ready? Have it. Oh no! 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 As if that just happened. Okay, that's not happening. Is it too what? Too narrow now? Is that too narrow? That was like... I can't believe that's not <laughs> What is happening? How wide is it now? <laughs> we, trans <laughs> we transported that like <laughs> two hour drive to get that. <laughs> and uh, now it's in pieces. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use that now. No, I don't trust it. Might it might be a bit is weak. Is it going to crack underneath the so wood burner? 
It's still wide enough. It's still wide enough. I'm just terrified it's just going to shatter into a million pieces there. Can we put it in into space and it's smaller? I mean, I can <laughs> I probably just, just carry know. it on my own now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look. Uh, there was obviously a weak point. I mean, I can't see any like lines, like weak lines areas, but I mean, I didn't see that one, so. Wow. Oh. How weird. That is very odd. <laughs> I didn't see I any, yeah, like already. stress fractures no. or... Can you see here? Yeah, it's... That was from on there. So yeah. I, I think there was... All, that's dirt from inside. So oh. I think there was like a crack oh, on the crack underneath. There. Dodge. And that then as I've picked it up, it's just... Sense. Down the yeah. like grain of it. Yeah, because that's the problem with it. It's like a right, layered thing, layered stone, isn't it? Let's try it. Let's try it. Just be careful now, because I'm paranoid. This is going to snap in half it. again on you. Is that flour from the boot yesterday? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if it snaps Just in half careful. and goes through the wooden floor, yeah, that'd I know, be fun. That's what I'm about. At least it's easier to carry. <laughs> <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So I'm guessing that the wider bit will want to be. The back. Shoes off. Oh, you well, got boots on it. Yeah. I should have put cardboard on the floor so you could just easily just walk over. Pop that down and then we're just, we can alter it around. It's really nice though. It does look nice. And this end, where it goes in, the wall also curves in, Although so it kind of I works. I feel well. like we should have the wider bit at the front catch any like oh, ash yeah, true, yeah. or anything like that. Okay. So flip it. We'll flip it round. So we've got the slate in. It didn't break again, thankfully. We just um removing some of the pieces that are sticking out of the like underlay soft stuff that we put in there to kind of level it out um i'm 50 50 on it <laughs> i'm not 100 percent. i'm not gonna lie but we're gonna go and get the wood burner So we're just getting the wood burner now and it's actually been stored in our cabin toilet for over a year because we got it in November 2020 <laughs> and this is the best place for it to go. Me and Theo managed to get it in here and it was so hard because it is the most heaviest cast iron cast iron thing you could imagine so I'm so grateful that we have Ricky here today to help Theo get it out and we're just going to see how easy it is for them to get it out because it is pretty tough. you've got enough obstacles in the way the roots <laughs> no. the pine cones bits of wood it's a specialist stone. crab dance let's drop it down here <laughs> quick breather it's very Ooh. heavy fernando's come to help it might be small but it's mighty that's what b says anyway <laughs> <laughs> So the stove 
looks absolutely incredible. I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful. It is like the centerpiece of the house. And we designed it so that it was kind of right in the middle to maximize the heat, but also it wasn't too close to the mezzanine. So it wasn't too hot because we're gonna be sleeping higher, obviously it's gonna be warmer. And we made it so when you walk through the front door, this is the first thing you see. So this is really important to get right. And we've decided this slab, it just isn't cutting it. We thought it would work, but I think it would have if it was wider, but now it's thinner. It just looks like it's kind of surfing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks does. like it's surfing on a slate surfboard. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't quite work. So what we're gonna do is move the stove over, just put it, put it on something to protect the wood and then we'll use this slate slab for something else. It's a shame it didn't work, but I'm happy we tried it because it was an idea that we had for a really long time. So back to the drawing board, we're thinking maybe a nice piece of metal. And I was thinking as well, maybe curved at the front so it kind of marries up with the entrance curve, but we'll see. <laughs> down to sit and wait with the girls because Theo is going to make their seesaw today which should be very interesting I really hope they go on it because <laughs> it'd be amazing to see them going on a seesaw absolutely hilarious so we're going for a rather simple technique that should hopefully work Theo is just coming down on the tractor 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 with all of the supplies now and Gingy's come down she's friends with them through the gate and the fence aren't you but she's still not 100% sure on them and won't come in. first part of the seesaw consists of two fence posts, one that's in the ground now and another one is going to go in quite close to each other but wide enough apart to allow a pole to go through which will be attached through here. And then the seesaw's done. These obviously are very tall so they're going to chop these down with the chainsaw. I think this next one needs hammering in now. Thankfully not a task I'm having to do. post down once it's all assembled yeah I think I'll assemble it all and then trim the post down because I'm not sure I might want to move it up and down depending on how extreme we want to go with them <laughs> so the first holes through and they're just figuring out the level for the pole but I think that's roundabout right and you can see the actual seesaw bit fits perfectly in there so it's gonna be it's nearly done actually which is really exciting
next step is to just chop these two pieces of wood down so they're not really high. Okay, so we're gonna actually see if it can take my weight, which is, you know, I'm a big guy, 6'3", fairly wide. Let's have it. <laughs> it's pretty extreme. <laughs> it really, I think they're gonna like that. I do think we should put a tire under each end so that when you go down and you slam. It's got a bit of a bounce. It's got a bit of a, a nicer impact. Good idea. Thea just headed off in the tractor to go and get some tires to go underneath the seesaw because it's a bit of a slam when it hits one end and we don't want them to be freaked out the first time they go on it and they never go on it again. So we just want to get some old tires that we have already, which are actually perfect to go here. So I've just finished the seesaw. It's amazing. I've had more than one go on it, that's for sure. And now it's so much better because obviously we dug half a tire into the ground here so you can see it sticking out, which means when you land, softens the blow. It's much nicer. I'll demonstrate once more. Go on. I hope you're watching Matilde so you can learn. But yeah, it's so much nicer. Day. It's nice and soft when you land. It's been a really good day, really positive day. Even we, though we broke the plinth. I know, that was a shame, but things like that happen for a reason. It obviously wasn't meant to be. It was just too skinny in the end. It might have looked all right if it was the original width that we wanted it to be, because we did measure it all out and that's why we bought that certain piece, but oh well, what can you do? We'll find something else. Not my fingers, why are they all going for the fingers? bedtime treats. Yeah, but they want to eat my fingers instead today. You were just eating loads of leaves, what's going on? Is it because I was just literally checking the plants in the garden? My hands probably smell like onions. <laughs> I was just checking to see how far along they were. So I'm just gonna hang out now on Goathenge for a little bit. Hang out with the goats, because I've been all over the place today, doing lots of different things, but like I said, we achieved so much and the house is coming along so nicely. It's exactly what we imagined in our heads, like even better, like it just is even better. Now the varnish is on the floor, it just really pops and it just looks so nice. We've got a comfy sofa, the kitchen is going to be installed hopefully fairly soon. We need to sort that out. There's so much to come guys, so make sure you're subscribed and check us out in the next video because we are going to be moving in some of the kitchen materials like the cooker, the fridge, things like that. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Catch us on the next one.